So let's take a look at the difference between titanium and zinc. So let's start with titanium. So titanium is the most common white for painting. A lot of times it's got a more bluer tint to it. It also has a higher opacity rating and it really brightens colors up really fast. You can tell from the packaging with the black stripes that are available, you can see how much more transparent the zinc white is because you can see the black stripes versus the opacity of the titanium white when you're comparing the two. So let's talk about zinc white. Zinc white is more transparent. It actually has one tenth of the tinting strength that titanium white has. Zinc white is really great if you want more control. You can mix it slowly and it's especially beautiful with transparent pigments such as quinacridones, thalos, and hansas. It really helps to lighten the color um, and make it brighter without making it uh, overly opaque or chalky. So let's take a difference, uh, a look at the difference between the two and the pigments between the two. I'm going to squirt out just like a pea size of zinc and I'm going to squirt, squirt out the same and I'm going to squirt out the same pea size in titanium. Okay, so we have equal amounts here. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit of fluid acrylic and I'm going to take a transparent color. I know that it's transparent because I can see the black bars as indicated on all golden packaging, but also it tells me it's transparent yellow oxide. Now I'm picking fluid acrylic because I can control the amount more by putting drops. So I'm just going to add one drop to each color. Okay, one drop added to each one. And let's look at the difference. So I'll start with the titanium white. I'm just using the palette knife to get a nice, even smooth mixture with just one squirt. Okay, it's got like a nice buttercream consistency. Now I'm going to wipe that off and I'm going to mix the zinc white. Look at the difference in the tonal value of the colors. Okay, so zinc brightened the color, it lightened it without making it as pastel. So you can instantly see the difference in color tones here. And you can see how if you wanted to lighten a color without overdoing it, zinc white might be the choice. It also might be good for beginners who tend to overuse white. Um, you know, typically people tend to unconsciously grab too much white when they want to lighten a color. We tend to think of that um, school brain where we think of lighter equals whiter and that's not always true. So zinc white could provide a little bit more of the safety net for you so you don't overuse your white if you're just starting off. Let's take a look at some other examples here. So here I have a color chart and to the left here I have several colors including a uh, naphthol red light, cerulean blue deep, violet oxide, turquoise thalo, I have cobalt green and I have quinacridone red. And so the colors just in their regular um, traditional state is the highest mass tone, full strength. And then here I have 50% of the mass tone and 50% of the titanium white. And then here in the final column, I have 50% of the mass tone and 50% of the zinc white. And you can see the distinctive differences on how it shades out and changes the colors, titanium versus zinc. And look at the difference between the colors. Some are more apparent than others, but definitely the titanium offers more of a pastel where the um, zinc offers just a little bit more brightness. Okay, now we'll look at one more uh, choice here. So I've got two reds. I've got pyrrole red and I've got cad medium red. So pyrrole red tends to be a little bit more opaque and a little bit more brighter. And the cad red medium, they look exactly the same probably to um, just a standard onlooker. They look very similar in reds. So how and why would I choose a different red and why would it make a difference? Well, 
If I look at a chart here, I can see that pyrrole and cad red look very similar. You can tell that pyrrole is a little bit more intense with the tinting strength and the color. It also has better opacity coverage. Both have been laid over both black and white, so you can see the coverage that you're getting. And then here, each color has been added an equal amount with titanium white. So you can see that titanium white plus the pyrrole red gave a much more brighter, richer pink tone where the cadmium red with titanium white gave it a little bit more of a pale tone. Now there's no zinc in this equation at all. It's just taking titanium and adding it to what appears to be the same color red, but seeing how it brings out the tonal differences between the two. So lots to consider when you're looking at white. Um, do you need both in your box? Do you need one and then maybe escalate to adding another? Totally up to you, but if you're interested in doing color studies, I'd recommend just seeing how the uh, titanium white and the zinc white do with the basic colors that you have in your box already. So thank you for watching this episode of Art Source. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you for another episode.